In an explosive new book by veteran journalist Bob Woodward, President Joe Biden reportedly places significant blame on the Obama administration for Russia's 2014 invasion of Ukraine, a key event that saw Moscow seize control of Crimea. According to War, Biden privately criticized his former running mate, Barack Obama, for not taking Russian President Vladimir Putin seriously enough, a misstep Biden claims laid the groundwork for future conflicts in Ukraine. They f***ed up in 2014, Biden told a close confidant in December 2023, as recounted by Woodward. Biden added that Washington never should have let Putin just walk in there and said the US did nothing in response to Russia's aggressive moves in Ukraine's eastern Donbas region. At the time, Biden served as vice president under Obama and Woodward's revelations highlight internal tensions about the handling of Russia's annexation of Crimea. Biden's frustration mirrors long-standing Republican criticisms of Obama's perceived weakness on Russia, views championed by Donald Trump, who has repeatedly pointed to the 2014 annexation as a major failure. Trump emphasized this point in a 2018 press briefing, stating, a very large part of Ukraine was taken in 2014 and they did nothing. While the West condemned Russia's annexation of Crimea as illegal, the response in 2014 consisted mainly of sanctions, contrasting sharply with the military support given to Ukraine during the 2022 invasion. Unlike today's extensive aid to Kyiv, the Obama administration opted for a restrained approach, something Biden now sees as a significant mistake. Biden's harsh criticism reflects an ongoing debate within US political circles about how best to handle Russia. The Biden administration has taken a hardline stance, providing substantial military support to Ukraine. In contrast, Trump has hinted at a more conciliatory approach toward Putin. He's been critical of Ukrainian President Zelensky and vague about how he would handle the conflict if re-elected. Look at the war in Ukraine, and I think it's something we have to have a quick discussion about because the president of Ukraine is in our country, and he's making little nasty aspersions toward your favorite president, me. But take a look at the war happening right now in Ukraine. It would have never happened if I were president to start off with. And there didn't even have to be a settlement. It wouldn't have happened, period. Russia wouldn't have gone in. I spoke to Putin about it a lot. Throughout his presidency, Trump maintained an unusually cordial relationship with Putin, which he continues to emphasize. According to Woodward's book, the two leaders have reportedly spoken seven times since Trump left office. Brian, I think it's the most dangerous time we've had, certainly since the end of the Second World War. I think it could end up being a world war. You have two, two hot spots, and you'll probably have a third, maybe, with Taiwan. But you have uh, Ukraine and Russia, and that's going, that's out of control. I met with President Zelensky, and I got along very well with President Putin. I think I can get it solved, uh, but we should get on and immediately have to, I think I would like to be able to solve it while President-elect, if I get elected, I'm going to work on that immediately. It's going to be my first two phone calls. Trump has repeatedly boasted that he could quickly end the war if re-elected, though details of his plan remain unclear. His running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, has suggested a possible demilitarized zone along current battle lines. A very good relationship. And I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly. Very well. I really think we're going to get it. Biden and other Democratic leaders, including Vice President Kamala Harris, are committed to supporting Ukraine until it regains full sovereignty, including Crimea. 
Biden's remarks in war suggest deep frustration with the handling of the 2014 crisis under Obama, accusing his administration of giving Putin an opening to assert dominance in the region. Obama, however, defended his response during a 2023 CNN interview, pointing to the complex dynamics in Crimea at the time. There's a reason there was not an armed invasion of Crimea, because Crimea was full of Russian speakers sympathetic to Russia's views. For Putin, the 2014 annexation of Crimea was a geopolitical victory, securing a crucial military hub for Russia. Despite Western sanctions, Putin's ambitions have only grown, with Biden's criticism of the Obama era seemingly acknowledging the Kremlin's strategic success. The revelations from war may have political consequences for Biden as he navigates his re-election campaign, while Trump positions himself as the leader capable of brokering peace in Ukraine. Biden's sharp critique of Obama could feed into Republican narratives that frame Democrats as weak on foreign policy, a point likely to be seized upon by Trump and his allies. Putin continues to exploit these divisions, benefiting from both the West's internal discord and miscalculations dating back to 2014. Crimea remains a potent symbol of Russia's resurgence, a point that even Biden's remarks seem to underscore. Добрый день, уважаемые коллеги.